we're back, and we're on that Gamma Male grind set. <laughs> Doing whatever a Gamma Male does. I know I looked it up as a joke to figure out what... I, I was spouting this nonsense, like, what, what, is there even a, such a thing as a Gamma Male? And there apparently is, and I, I just remember it being dumb. Now down we go. Hey look, the hatch opened up this time. Now we have Hot Shelter, which I, I remember Hot Shelter is this, right? Surely I remember stages, right? Yeah, there we go. Hot Shelter is considered the longest stage for Gamma. It's also one of the only stages to where I think dying is inevitable, mainly on first playthroughs. It's also one of the most fun to try and get high scores for. It's great for ring grinding, like, Gamma does have his purposes in Sonic Adventure. He is definitely great for ring grinding. Oh well, yeah, because you don't ever have to get anywhere close to the enemies to actually damage them, so you don't gotta worry about losing them. Yep, and there's a lot of ring boxes that act as perfect targets for Gamma. Oh, did I have to hit a button somewhere? Uh, yeah, no, that's for Hey, are you gonna- oh wait, Hana, I think, isn't it- yeah, you have to hug the door. <laughs> Uncomfortably tight. <laughs> Do this uncomfortable jump. Press that, and we immediately hop over, so that way we don't have to do the jump back. Wait. Alright, open on up. Oh, coconuts, they were ambushing us. If we ever get back into Space Engineers, we gotta build an egg carrier now. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> is it is it gonna the work? Rings. No. Not. The rings, they're so beautiful. God, Gamma's rich. He's uh, looking for. He's a sure robot daddy looking for sure babies in his area. Up we go. If you don't make this jump, you just have to literally do a, that entire loop again. You know, no big deal. Yeah, a dot 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 item again, like you're doing three. Hey, could you, um, pick me up, please? Thank you. Stop blasting. No, please! Oh, I hate you. Shoot button. Because Eggman apparently has buttons that could shoot instead. I don't know why. Well, they might be useful. <laughs> For robots like Gamma. You think Eggman's actually taking these routes? Nah. You know, you prove a good point. Speaking of which, where is this monorail system at in the <laughs> Egg Carrier? Why does he have a monorail system? What is the purpose of this? Eggman. Well, the Egg Carrier is supposed to be bigger than we see. But, uh, yeah. Obviously, they couldn't make that in the game, so... I had to recover a lot of time... Ooh. I had to recover a lot of time because, uh, I was running out. <laughs> Here... Rings... Pop on this... This... And this... I hate you... I hate you... Laser, please lock on to more than just those three! We shot the button on accident, so we're stopping. And, like I said with Gamma, I love his stages, I just wish they were longer. Ow, I oh, hate all you. those beautiful rings. Ah, oh, what's the matter? My chows are already perfected. Uh, I really do love Gamma's stages, and do love the whole time constraint, how you have to beat it under their very strict time limit, and this is exactly the type of stage I'm looking for, because it's long, it takes a while to, you know, beat, because the, just, you're not beating it in the three minutes you start. Yeah. And it actually expects you to get combos to raise your time. Here, look at that last one. I hate all boxes, man. No, that's right now. All this so we could fight an actually interesting boss, because, uh, my god, Zeta, what'd he do to you? Everything. 
is like we're fighting an actually interesting boss. It still goes down easily, don't get me wrong, but it's an interesting boss still. And that's what matters to me most, I think, this game's over here. Like, it's still fun to do. Overall, I really like Hot Shelter as a level for Gamma, and I personally think this Hot Shelter's type of design was a big inspiration for Eggman's and Tails' levels. The only thing is that I'm sad that Eggman's and Tails' levels don't carry over is the time to bit. Because now you could just take them at a slow pace, you don't have to worry about rushing through and potentially making a mistake, yeah. you just take your sweet time. But they did change it up to where they actually have health bars rather than, yeah. you know, rings. Which is nice because Gamma being a two-shot wonder, dying in two hits, is a little bit, a little bit of a bad thing. Now, we go up, we go finish Gamma's story, which again, Zeta was a unique boss. Zeta is probably my favorite final boss out of the, all the characters. Obviously, the final final boss is my favorite. Also, shouts to the gameplay footage it just shows. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, obviously, the yeah. final final boss is my favorite. But Beta is my favorite, just normal character final boss. There he goes. Look at that crazy robo. Beta. And then it stops. <laughs> I bro, it would have been great to play during the walk up. Yeah, now we have our final confrontation with the beta. What they do to you? But uh, yeah, beta is not easy like the others. You can't just simply shoot him while to dodge. You have to wait for him to charge at you like that. Then you can sneak a quick shot off. He'll either hit the shots away or dodge out of the way. You know how it be. So all, all you're mainly doing is just dodging, waiting for him to go, and shooting him when you can. You will shoot projectiles every now and then, so make sure you shoot those down. You can outrun them for the most part. Beta will also get this nice aerial view. All you have to do is just make sure you keep running to avoid the explosion. No, you see no. And not too hard of a boss fight, but a pretty challenging one either way. Yeah, it's it's a very interesting and cool boss fight. I really like uh, like the entire fight. And also, Crazy Robo is a really good song. Sure. I really like it. It's Gamma as a whole has really good themes. His theme and Crazy Robo, like I really love them. Now my boys very angry and start blasting. But as long as we just keep circling, we'll be fine. And one final big blast. Do your charge. Did I hit him? I did. Rest in peace, beta male. The gamma males win. Mission complete. Rest in, uh, ro ro Robo Hell. That, that's a thing. <laughs> technically, do you rest in peace? Because you have an animal inside of you, so do you technically die, Beta? I mean, what, what are the logistics behind this? <laughs> <laughs> God, that falling animation so derpy every single time. It's so dumb. He was playing before he dies. He got one final good shot off on Gamma. We had rings, though. We'll live that, right? <laughs> oh, this is a cutscene. Doesn't count. No, we, we had rings, so we're fine. Clearly, look at Gamma. Walking it off. He's all good. Oh, hello, white birdie. This is strange. You, you remind me of another birdie I saw. I, I wonder... Anyways, uh, I gotta go, Birdie. See ya. Oh man, oh my god, what's happening to me? Oh my god, I thought I had rings on me. Did, did I pick rings up in the boss fight?
No glorious explosion. This is how I die. Come on, Gamma. Oh, there it goes. And the bird flies away while cool guys don't look at explosions play. <laughs> Seriously, that bird is flying so slow for how fast that explosion is happening. Like, come on, my guy! Speed up, you're gonna die! Unless he wants that. Whoa, another birdie! It turns out that the pink and white birdie that Amy's birdie was looking for this entire time <laughs> was Beta and Gamma! Oh my god! That's it. Bro, that, that just makes Gamma more of an interesting character, something like that, which, you know, I, I really like. It shows that Eggman's robots aren't fully soulless, considering that the animals inside can influence their actions, which is essentially what happened to Gamma. And then after Sonic Adventure 2, they stopped using animals. Yeah. Instead, they used Wisps for a while in some other Sonic games. But. And even then, those same robots were designed to function without anything anyways in earlier games. Yeah. Weird. But yeah, that's Gamma. The technically final new character you play as. He He's a good time. I really do enjoy Gamma's gameplay. I mean, clearly a lot of people had to have liked it if uh, in Sonic Hunter 2, Tails and Eggman play exactly like them. It, it's funny when you think about it that Sonic the main character, his gameplay stayed for Sonic and Shadow, Knuckles' gameplay stayed for Knuckles and Rouge, but Tails' gameplay, the Sonic's partner, his best friend, his gameplay, got scratched out. <laughs> and instead, they were like, hey, you know that obscure robot that, that we made for literally only Sonic Adventure for him to live and die in Sonic Adventure? What if we made that Tails and Aliens gameplay? You know, it would actually make me happy if I did somehow bring Gamma back, but... It, it absolutely would. I I really do like Gamma. I, I think he's a pretty cool character. I like how he's handled in the comics. The... we don't talk about Sonic X and his voice they give him, but... From us losing Gamma, we do get Omega later on in Sonic, and I think Omega's a really fitting, like, replacement. Do I miss my boy Gamma? Because design-wise, I actually like Gamma more? Yes. But, I think Omega's still pretty good. God, his theme is so good. Everything about this Robo Boy is so good. I love Gamma, man. I... Wait, are we looking at the Genesis credits? Uh, yes. Most of the credits are usually Genesis graphics. <laughs> it's, uh... Yeah, I recognize that certain things were very different, like the textures and all that. <laughs> but the fact that Gamma's eyes are, like, just pure white. Yeah, it's really easy to notice the differences when we beat Gamma's story in, like, 40 minutes. <laughs> it's, uh... Yeah, Gamma's story doesn't last long. That's the unfortunate part about Gamma. I don't care about big story. Big story lasting as long as it is, I'm alright with it. Gamma, though, I'm upset that his story doesn't last this long because his gameplay is a fun to me. It could have been fun actually fighting Eggman, you know, a few times as Gamma. Yeah, either that or maybe fight Chaos. It's like, there's multiple versions of Chaos we never see. It would have been cool to expand upon Chaos and have each character. We, here's the thing. We haven't seen Chaos at 7 Chaos levels, but we see Chaos through zero to six chaos. Yeah. We have six characters. Why doesn't every character fight one version of chaos? Let Sonic fight Chaos Zero and Chaos Six. But have you know Tails maybe fight Chaos One. Amy fights Chaos Two. Knuckles fights Chaos Three. Big as weird as it is, chaos. you know, not even that. Have Big fight Chaos 3, the fish one. It makes sense. He has to wrangle Chaos. Yeah, uh, that would actually make a lot of sense. Yeah. You know, have Gamma fight like Chaos 4 or 5, and Knuckles will also fight Chaos 4. It's like, that, that's, it would be so cool with Chaos, but nah, it's, you know. 
It's just, it's only, oops, all chaos three. <laughs> That's all that happened. That's all we fight. Overall, though, I have a good time with Gamma. He's always one of the characters I look fondly to, which is funny because five of the six characters I actually really enjoy playing. I like everyone but Big. <laughs> no, we know that Big's your favorite. Is he? Yeah, of course he's your favorite. Look, I like Big as a character, and I was so happy to see him in Saw Frontiers, but I, I don't, I don't care for Big. Anyways. Select your character. We now have one more character. Yeah, this uh, the, these have been nothing but fake outs. You know, when I said we're done with Sonic Adventure, Sonic, the Tails, and Knuckles, and Amy. Oh and my gosh, you, you made it so believable. When I said Gamma was the final character, yeah, no, we, of course, Sonic has to be the final character. This greedy, greedy hedgehog. He's so narcissistic, you know, he can't. His name is on the title game. Is it Gamma Adventure? No. That's why he has to be the final story. Next time on Sonic Adventure, we're beating this game. For now, though, see you guys later.